What's up, fellas? It's Komet the Zeke here. Before I let the video begin, just wanted to give you guys a brief little background of what I do and why I'm reviewing all these tools. Um, essentially, for the people who know me and work with me, um, I, I have a lot of tools. <laughs> I'm a bit of a tool nut. I like to purchase tools, even though I already have something that'll do the similar job. Uh, it's just something I like to do. Um, my background, I do HVAC, mostly residential. Uh, I've been doing it for about four years now. And just always wanted to do tool reviews uh, because I am a very creative person. I used to stream a lot. Uh, I have a gaming channel, uh, but it's kind of dead now because I really I've been busy with HVAC. <laughs> um, but it's something I want to get back into. So uh, I'll go ahead and let the video get started. Hey guys, it's Komet Zeke here, and today we are in my bag today. Uh, so what I got for you guys today is one of my favorite tools and most used tools on any maintenance service call or just it's nice to have one around the house as well um, this is the field piece multimeter and I know what you guys are thinking hey what am I doing with this little guy in my hands what well today we're just gonna put this guy aside because I'm gonna show you my favorite meter is this big guy right here um because i always wanted something bigger what do you mean by that uh this thing does all the features that i would really want it to in residential and much more uh let's have, get that focus there perfect uh kind of my first time doing one of these tool reviews so just apologies if it's a little blurry kind of have a scuff setup i have like a tripod that i got from amazon that i'm using right now but I'm take these little leads off just so I can show you. So guys, this is the Field Piece SC680. I think this meter is very perfect for HVAC, commercial, residential, or industrial, even just because of the, the amount of features that it has. Uh, the ones that I primarily use is, I know there's a lot of stuff on this dial. I really haven't messed around with them. <laughs> but uh, essentially we got our uh volts as well as our amps if you hit this little select button it brings up the amperage so you can kind of get around your wire and, and it also has a light when you're working in those very very dark places to kind of get to in the back also if the, the the wire is a little tough to get to this little guy rotates kind of just get a really good grip on there I, I think i love this feature i wish the other one would do this one right here uh, so we got our volts and amps as well as there's like a greater range if you're working on bigger equipment uh, for communicating equipment i like using this volts dc uh, and adc meter um, as you can see we have it on milli volts but you can obviously uh, change your uh, settings you can also get uh, amps in dc as well which is pretty cool uh, let's see what button what did this one so range changes kind of like from millivolts to regular volts DC which is pretty cool uh, the other thing that I use in resi as well is this little uh, I believe it is called milliamps or microamps um, I really know it just from doing uh, flame sensors uh, I think it's called microamps correct uh, when I'm trying to check for flame rectification, uh, I think this is a really cool thing to have. Uh, the other tool that I do use in Resi is uh, microfarads, which is kind of just testing a capacitor out. You kind of get your leads. Put them in like so. You kind of just go from terminal to terminal to get your microfarads, which is pretty cool to have. Uh, my other favorite thing is uh, non-contact voltage. Um, it's kind of like a dummy stick that you have built into the meter. Uh, the other little meter really doesn't have this feature. Let's see here, trying to get this guy off of the tripod. So essentially you can kind of tell it kind of works this way. I mean, I don't really have high voltage, but I kind of just put it around my charger. As you can see it kind of beeps, kind of holds steady. Those four lines kind of indicate like our level here. Apologies for the scuffed setup here. Put you back on the tripod. Hopefully that's good. 
right there. Let's focus there. And last but not least is uh, definitely the thing that I use the most in troubleshooting for shorts. I believe this ohms uh, continuity and I believe this is diode. Um, I don't really mess around with those in residential, but uh, the meter will do it. <laughs> I guess that's cool to have. Uh, so essentially, the uh, thing I like about this meter is you can kind of go between the ranges. So for example, if I hit select, uh, we are currently in milli, milli ohms. If we hit select again, we're in regular. Uh, and I believe this is the diode. And now we are in ohms alternating. If you don't know what to measure for, you kind of just put your leads to it and it'll generate an ohm reading for you. And I believe this one is continuity. Let me see here. If it beeps, we're, we got continuity. Yes, sir. So that's continuity. I always use this to kind of find shorts or just continuity between elements or what have you. Um, this meter also does watts, which I, I really don't mess around with. I, I don't know what it's there for, but um, this is kind of my, my favorite meter here for one big reason is, let's see here, uh, this little button right here, if I get it to focus, uh, wireless on or off. Um, so uh, what that means is you can actually have this meter uh, Bluetooth pair to the Field Peace Job Link app, uh, meaning you can get your readings on the phone if you want to screenshot it, put it on the job file, or even if you're me like troubleshooting and I want to check if my elements are coming on, I have a lot of meters so I don't mind leaving it behind in the furnace, but um, I kind of just clip the little amp on there and I put the furnace door on while I'm troubleshooting the heat pump or, or the defrost board, seeing if, it, if it's kicking all my elements. Um, I kind of just leave this there in the closet and I, I bring my phone with me um, and it kind of tells me if the amps are coming on or the legs are coming on, which is pretty cool to have. Uh, but uh, that's all I really have for the SC680. Uh, downside is this thing is huge. Huh? Like, I mean, look at this guy like you versus you know the guy she told you not to worry about or just your friend you know uh it's a very big guy here uh so size definitely i guess if it matters to you uh probably go with the little guy this guy will kind of do all uh what you really need for residential and it's also a lot cheaper but uh, i am a tool nut i do love these really nice tools and it does fit really good in my veto bag uh, but there we go guys and um, that's kind of my first uh, tool review for you guys today um, in all honesty I would give this meter maybe an 8 out of 10 uh, only thing that really negates it is the size um, but if you like the big ones you like the big ones <laughs>